as someone who cares about gender equality, two things that you can do are first, ask questions, and second, read. The first part is when you ask questions, you start by taking a, a look at your environment. Look around you and ask what's, what's happening and see what could be better and challenge people and ask them, why is, the, why is this the way it is? Why am I treated this way? Why is this not allowed for me? Why is this allowed for boys? Never accept a response that says, like, because that's how we've been doing it for so long. You should always ask, why is that? Who decided that? Why is this happening? And then follow that through and ask, ask yourself, could this be better? And if it can, try and do it in your own environment. Don't be overwhelmed by the thinking that you have to change everything for the entire country or the world all at once. It all starts by taking responsibility for the spaces that you occupy right now. Look around, check on your friend, see what's happening around you. And when you see something wrong, if you wouldn't want that to happen to you, always intervene and ask, why are you doing this? Why are you saying this? This is unfair. And then follow that up with, how do we make sure that this doesn't happen again? And the second part is, in order to be a very good advocate on any issue, first, find out what's going on. Find out the history. Find out what you can do. And there are so many resources online. You can read. You can watch videos. There are movies out there on the women's movement and on these different ideas about gender equality. And remember that there are lessons to be learned from other countries as well, in other far parts of the world. Always remember that the, the one kind of information is not the only information out there. So always look that up, search for it, and use those resources. So my advice to you is, first, observe. Look around at your environment and ask, ask questions and ask why. The second part is read. Always have resources. The best advocates, the smartest ones, are always prepared. They have their history on hand. They have information. And that's what makes you a really good advocate.